Okay, for example 6.3, we're looking at a Faraday disk generator. Uh, for this one, we have a rotating disk that has an angular velocity that it, uh, and a magnetic field that is, for our homework problem, we modeled a magnetic field changing with respect to time. So this is the only thing in this problem that's changing. Our b uh, is equal to b naught plus some constant multiplied by time in the z hat direction. So our b is pointing straight up here. Uh, the problem is asking us to find the open circuit voltage of the generator with a radius of b. Okay, um, so we have a circuit that we completed here, and we have a um, a disk that is moving uh, through a b field, so rotating in a b field. So that disk is going to induce um, it's going to induce a current essentially, or induce a voltage. So we have this uh, general equation. Uh, right here actually um, and we know that our velocity crossed with our B field uh, dotted with DL and DL is around the um, current loop so it's the the direction that the current takes uh, is going to be equal to our open circuit voltage here so okay um, we need to find a couple of things so our DL um, we're actually finding it for between these points so three and four so as this disk is moving and making contact here uh, so our DL is equal to DR, so we just have a change along the radius for this guy, um, for our DL, and then for our V, we have an angular velocity, um, and our angular velocity is going to be dependent on the radius here. So we have our, this RW, so RW in the phi hat direction, so our disk is rotating around this way. Okay, so... Uh, we have all of our pieces here, so change in R in the R hat direction for our DL because that's the direction that the current's moving along. Uh, we have our V, or velocity here, uh, and then we have our B field, so we're just plugging all of those guys in. Okay, so that's what we do here. Uh, and then the last piece here, uh, this problem, we're moving from 0.3 to 0.4, okay, for our current, so 0.3 to 0.4, uh, and we're plugging in our, our R equals B and R equals 0 because we have a dr for our differential element here, so differential radius, okay? Um, all right, so step one, we're gonna simplify this a little bit further. So we have phi hat crossed with z hat here. Uh, and if we remember the right-hand rule, so phi hat crossed with z hat, so pinky on this phi hat, sweep your fingers to z, thumb is pointing at r. So that's our result for our cross product there. Um, so then it just becomes a bunch of constants here, multiplied by r, dotted with dr and the r hat. Okay, so now we know that r hat dot r hat is also equal to 1, so we can simplify this a little bit further here. Um, just put that r hat on there. So we can simplify this guy a little bit further, uh, and we just move this r over to here. So we have r dot dr, and then we go from b to 0. Um, so we're pulling out our constants, uh, and then when we take this integral, we just end up with negative b squared over 2, and that's just because that b is on the bottom, so it's going to end up with that negative out there. Okay. Uh, and then simplifying, this is our general expression for the voltage. So we can use this general equation. Uh, the DL is a little bit more complicated, but again, just along the current direction here. Our B fields, we can sub out a B field with respect to time or whatever our value is for B. Uh, and our velocity is a little bit different because we have an angular velocity for this one versus when we had a sliding uh, rail across the circuit. So hopefully this clears things up a little bit. We're going to go on to the next problem.